Hello everyone, and welcome to another Haller for an Hour. This is Planet of Lana. I caught this uh, on, uh, I think it was on uh, Lurk It. I just ran into by accident, and I was just like, what is this? This is intriguing. Uh, the, stream, the Steam description reads that a young girl and her loyal friend embark on a rescue mission through a colorful world full of cold machines and unfamiliar creatures. Planet of Lana is a cinematic puzzle adventure framed by an epic sci-fi saga that stretches across centuries and galaxies. It looked nice. It kind of made me think a little bit of Oddworld. It made me think a little bit of, like, Limbo. But it was, like, really pretty, too. Really chill. I think there is drama. I think there is action to this game, too. But it, it looked pretty. And honestly, this title screen is definitely selling me on that, too. Let's see what this has. Let's see what this what this cinematic puzzle platformer is like. Uh, of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by, whether it's a lurk or a talk, think about doing so, because it does make a world of a difference. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. Links are in the description so you can check them out at your leisure. With that being said, let us go ahead and play. Also, for those wondering, the secret, the mysterious creature I was noting on the tile screen was in the lower right corner, hanging in the tree. You can look back on the VOD for that if you're curious. style I like it it's like what is this art style it's like kind of simple but like also very pretty like the characters are simpler than the environment I don't even know what style this exactly would be called I almost want to say clip art but that seems disrespectful <laughs> it's nicer than that breath of the wild it's simpler than that well the environment maybe okay cell shade is simpler than it's not that either. It's like the human the human characters are very simply drawn. But it's a nice style too. And I like I like it specifically that it's a simple style, but there's still like lighting on the characters and stuff, so it looks pretty nice. Oh that bar sir, watch out that bar. Okay, or lady. I thought she was gonna hit her head. <laughs> Minimalist it is minimal. It is a good minimalist style. Oh, okay. I wonder what world this is. Look at that, like, giant planet in the background. <laughs> oh, that seems mildly dangerous. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you almost fell to your death. Thankfully, the water broke your fall, I guess. <laughs> No, honestly, I like the combination of the character's simplicity with the world's, like, higher detail. It's not like a super high detail environment, but it's really nice looking, actually. I really like the blood. Ooh, a market. Fish! Oh, okay, what are we doing? What happens if I get spotted, you think? <laughs> kids, get out of my kitchen! <laughs> Darn kids! <laughs> I'm just gonna run briskly past her. <laughs> Cleaver will be boss. 
Also, this music's quite nice, isn't it? I hope it's all loud enough. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Look at that, look at that thing. It's like an evil shadow war warthog or something. And also, uh, the things I saw hanging in the trees is also in that cage up there. See that black blob? They have eyes if you pay attention. Well, sometimes they do. They seem to be sleeping. I wonder what the shadow creatures are all about. They seem to be... Uh, some of them seem to be caged slash domesticated, so... I'm gonna assume they're not evil, or at least they're neutral. Okay. Going into the forest. Not really sure why we had to cut through that old lady's house to do that, but alright. I feel like the layout of the village has something to be desired if you have to go through old, 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 old Granny Han's uh, <laughs> kitchen just to get outside. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's not. Maybe that's why she's so grumpy. Hmm. Aha. Is it a cold creature for Spirited Away? Oh, that might be it. Ooh. Yeah, definitely fill in some limbo from this. Or what's that one game? What's that one game? that was kind of like Limbo, it was released after Limbo, and you, like, you were a kid, and there was, like, I don't know what was going on, like, there was, like, weird creatures, and there's also, like, mind-controlled humans, and the end of the game involved you turning into a big old blob creature. What was that game called? I forget the name of that one. I never played it, I just... Inside, that's it, thank you. Hopefully this game doesn't get that dark. <laughs> Little Nightmares was good, too, though. Wait, what's inside? Look it up! It's an interesting game. If you like, like, Limbo and Little Nightmares, you might like that. By the way, I know it's not, like, English voice acting. They're... Besides saying their names, we don't really know what the, they're talking about, but I... <laughs> I like the voice acting. It's very easy to get, like, childlike laughter in a game and make it really annoying. Make it really, like, kind of annoying to listen to. You stock, or you stock audio or whatever. But this sounds natural. I like this. I like this, these giggles they're doing and stuff. This all sounds really natural and doesn't sound annoying. This, I appreciate the voice acting. Let me, uh... My AC to be quieter today. <laughs> At least for during this game. Would you stream Heart of Darkness if you got a modern remake? I what? Oh, you mean the PS1 game where you get eaten by that big fat thing all the time? That's all I remember about it. I think that's what it was. And that game I never played, but maybe. Whoa, 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 what are those? Hold on. That's a lot of that. Uh, drop drop pods are coming in. No, those are- they have shape- they have like a, a ship shape. Like a pod shape. That's not good. That be a capture robot. <laughs> I know a capture robot when I see one. Leave, I'm a Pokemon, I know capture devices. Oh. I just realized something. If you're about to walk on the ledge, she actually like pauses for a second. That's good to see. I wanted to see if there was like, anything in that direction. War of the Worlds? It kind of did have that vibe, didn't it? It's a robot that captures. This must be a capture robot. I mean, they seem that seems to be their design to just capture.
Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, that's a patrol robot. It doesn't capture, but it patrols. Am I hiding in the grass or am I hiding in the... Okay. That works. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to use the object or the grass there. Oh, what the hell is in the water now? Okay, that's a big one. There's a fire going over there. It's like Abe's Odyssey, the patrolling eyeball things. Yeah, this game gave me some Abe's Odyssey vibes when I looked at this trailer. <laughs> okay, that's uh That might be a zapper robot. It looks like it's gonna zap you, maybe. I get zappy vibes out of that thing. I don't like- you know what I don't like about that robot? You know what I specifically hate about this robot? How spindly those damn legs are. I don't like that. I don't like those spindly legs. They're so thin. It has six legs, so I didn't call it spider bots. That's six, not eight. Well, I mean, it's good that they're capturing and not killing, but that's not much better. I wonder why. I wonder why. Oh, okay. Bye. Where'd it go? Ah, it's over there. Maybe it's a guardian for Breath of the Wild. You, well, you just think this is Breath of the Wild, apparently. Well, multiple people do. So that thing in the background is like the Death Star if it had legs. I guess it's not quite as big, but... <laughs> I'm gonna guess they're all probably going to that th Oh. Actually, let's see what happens if I get caught. Oh, never mind! It turns out that's the Zappy robot. Okay, good to know. I thought I would just alert another robot. Okay. You notice the sounds they make, too? They're interesting beeps. Let's see what this thing can do. Is it also a zappy robot or is it just gonna stab me? Uh oh. Oh, it's just gonna like contact electrocute me. Okay. I see. Well, now I know what it does, so I know how to avoid it. So that thing wants to rush me, the flying ones wanna zap me. And they can look down, apparently. That's good to know. Let's go to the old abandoned cave that was boarded up, apparently. Hello, little things in the background. How you doing? Probably just more of those little blob guys. Okay. I'm liking this so far. It, it, it didn't, it, it's a pretty snappy beginning, you know? It, it's established a world, established some characters through, you know, through 
utterances more than actual dialogue, which I kind of like. And then it went right into the conflict, which I don't feel like it was rushing. I feel like that was a good pace. Let's see where it goes with this. Oh, the moon slash other planet is out. And Elo is her brother, I think. We're, we're playing as Lana, and Elo seemed to be our bigger brother. I would, I would say. Or just a really close friend. Oh, she's tired. <laughs> she's slowing down. I know a musical score for a game is good when I don't want to speak over it. <laughs> that was... Man, this music's really good. Alright, well, <laughs> after an exhaustive sleep... Uh, can we go back? I am curious. I don't know if this game has any secrets. It might. It might not. I get the feeling it's probably uh, not going to have secrets, though. Ah, I see. That was a ledge we can't climb. Fair enough. I do like how going all the way back, they'll let us see some birds. That's kind of neat. A bunch of birds flew off that ledge when I approached. So, going all the way back wasn't a necessarily a waste of time. That was close from the straight can I see every day, Nala. What? What? This guy. This game reminds you of a stray can. What does that even mean? Like, are we talking Chef Boy or Decan, or like baked beans, or are we Spaghettios maybe, or oh, cat? Okay. <laughs> now I understand. Lana is close. So that that is close to the. Oh, so you see a stray cat named Nala? Well, they're not really stray if they have a name, are they? Or are they? Uh, did you name them? <laughs> so that's a friend, is that a friend-shaped cat? <laughs> Look at the little guys on the tree. I'm like, oh jeez, why is she yelling? Jeez, we're just trying to sleep. I like these I like these little I like these little things. The neighborhood stray cat. Oh, that's cool. I hope, hope they get fed well. There are also people pe people remind more of the worlds. Yeah, so remind somebody else earlier said that. Uh, I think it was Sam. Clearly this, uh, clearly this little fishing village was not at all prepared for such a thing. And clearly they're invaders from outside this planet. Whatever they are. It's kind of like War of the Worlds, but I would say there's not really much of a war. This, that there's really no resistance in this situation. These people on this planet were not, did not have the tech level to even cope with that. Oh, it's one of those guys. I'm gonna guess those guys are kind of mean. Okay. Yeah, hide in the grass. Actually, you know what? What's it do? Yep, just kind of kills us. When you're playing a cinematic platformer like uh, Oddworld and stuff, I kind of feel like 
it's worth seeing how different enemies murder you, or how different traps get you destroy you, because it's kind of it's you know, it's an extra detail of animation you can see. Yeah, basically a mean old warthogish kind of creature. Slide time. Oh, jump time. Oh. Little outpost. Huh. I hear a weird noise. Okay, I can't. I guess I push it off this way. Uh. Okay, I think what I need to do is phase into the ground, that obviously, right? Uh, yeah, I need one box to hold that down. Well, another box is to use to get up there. Okay. That should be, that should be a suitable counterweight. I do like the re the ambience is interesting. If you listen to the sound work, there's some interesting creature sounds. Like unusual ones, like alien ones. I like it. There is like I'm hearing an alien bird, I think. Oh no, not another one of those things. They seem empty. I'm gonna guess I need to be careful here. If I just jump, do I... Okay, that's a fall I can handle, but I do have to wait a second. Alright. Can this thing hop up here? I don't know, it can't seem to see me. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's see if we can get up here. Well, it immediately lost interest. Do I... Oh no. <laughs> I feel like what I need to do is have it charge and then run past it. Yep, thought so. <laughs> um, I don't think I was that important to kill, but alright. <laughs> I do. I like these little slime guys. I, I don't know. I don't know if they're slimes, but they kind of make me think of like ink slimes or something. That doesn't. Oh, let me guess. This is bad. Oh, it's good. It's over here. Corpse. Or maybe he's just knocked out. I don't know. I, I would I would like to know why this plant exists. Oh yes, it is the it is the it is the platform plant. If you press on its little uh, if you press on its flowers over here, then it'll grow a vine over there. It's like okay, what, what does that do biologically though? <laughs> why does that happen? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Hmm. Yeah, that's like a bird, but it's an alien bird. Alien bird sound. It's it's like alien chirping. I dig it. What's this? Just 
is a thing. Ah, I was gonna say, this looks like an alien device, so that makes sense. It seems to have got itself caught. I think we can tell the alien device is based on the whole uh, jet black with glowy bits, like this thing has. Basically, anything that looks technological. <laughs> I think you jump. So I'm guessing the robots want to capture fauna as well, not just not just sentient races. Wait, I need up. Hmm. Maybe I can push it? There we go. I hear Pikmin noises. I, can, I, I hear it too, actually. There it is. Ima. Ima? Is that an Ima? Is that the species? It's an Ima. Either that or she just like call it a cute or something, I don't know. Ima key. Ima key? Ima key. You know, it did look a I, I did have a thought that saying it looked a little monkey like. Ima key sounds a little bit like monkey, so maybe that's maybe that's what it is. It's got a little bit of, like, compact monkey design to it. <laughs> Ow. Oof. Jump. I don't know. I don't know. It has a little bit of monkeyish to it, but I can't really place what else it is. It's not just a monkey. It's an alien creature. There. <laughs> All these boarded off caves. I wonder what that's about. Oh, thanks. Clearly intelligent, whatever it is. Ooh. That looks a little dangerous. That that tree is grow grown in a very very precarious spot. I like that visual. By the way, how's everybody doing? Chat's a little quiet, maybe just vibing with the game, but how's everybody doing today? Sorry we started the stream with a kind of a stressful topic, but it was something I think that was important to bring up. Hey, we followed up with a game that, honestly, look at that art, actually. I like that background. It's, it's like painted. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, if you're wondering, that thing can absolutely go wherever it wants. That makes sense. We had we have seen those jump around a bit. Alright. In that case. Nope, too late. What I need to do is push the box, hide again, then go then do the jump.
There is a moment after she j jumps and grabs a ledge before she can pull herself up, so. Oh, it's trying to fit through the, uh oh. It can't, it's too, it's too fat. It can't fit through there. It might, it's probably possible to juke it if it is chase view, but only in the right circumstance. Depends on the layout, probably. Can I ask my publisher working on a game they're helping with? Oh, that's cool, Priscilla. Chill day of friends, power was down. When it came back, Wi Fi was funky. Feel a lot of energy, feel a bit better. So, a bit, bit going on today, then. Fair enough. Hope you feel better. Feel like, more better. The stick bug meme. I know how this started. I saw the image. Oh. Help music. Cool. Also, I think we're in a dream. Did it go invisible for a second? I don't. Did it? You can tell I'm in dream state because my jumping is slow motion. <laughs> yeah, we just did this. I'm getting a fever. Oh, that's not good at all. Eva and Lana. Is that what you hear? I... I'm hearing like Eno. Maybe you're right. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Also, did we go invisible? Well, it did this. It did the whiteout. Remember, we probably got a concussion. <laughs> Okay, that's cute. I like its voice. That's cute. It has it has its own like little language. I like that. Also, hello, hello, Nago the lamp, Le like Canthro, and friends. How's everybody doing? We just made a new friend here. So good timing. More friends. <laughs> we can pet it. Oh, oh, can I? It's like any time. Well, I don't know if I can pet it right now, but it did just like give us a leg nuzzle, I think. Yeah, looks like it. I don't think it's a rat. I don't know what it is. It is a little Pikmin like, actually. But hell, yeah, hi there, Doggo. How's everybody doing? What were you guys playing just a bit ago? Or doing. Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? Stop, follow. Okay. Ima, Ima says stop. Ala my way is follow. Okay. Stop and follow. There are instructions back when you start. Oh, was there? Well, what did it say I could do to pet the rat? It's not a rat, though. I'll go back and see if I can find them. It's probably during a mo Oh, I can't go back. Well, tell me how to do it. Since you read them. Hola. Ima muy. I can also just press buttons, but nothing's doing anything. Oh. 
Oh, crouch and pet. It purrs. I got an achievement called it purrs. So it seems to be a slight. It's definitely part feline, whatever it is. I noticed that with the ears too. It seemed like cat ears. Not really. Well, to be fair, they kind of just popped up briefly when I was looking at the chat while moving. So, just didn't see them. Yeah, I figured it out, Hated. Thanks. <laughs> You're playing Divinity Original Sin 2. Oh, yeah, I played that for a little bit. It wasn't really my style of game, but I could definitely see why a lot of people would enjoy it. Oh, thank you for doing the shout out. Whoever just did the shout out, thank you. We are playing Planet of Lana. This is the first of a few games we got for today. These are review keys I received. Howler for an hour is what we're doing here. Where we basically check out review keys I've gotten for an hour or so each. And just kind of do a first impressions. This this game kind of makes me think a little bit Oddworld. A little bit, uh, like, Limbo or Inside. There's probably another game I'm not thinking of that it, it also resembles, but... No, 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 stop. Good enough. <laughs> there we go. It is a story, but yes, uh, cinematic puzzle platformer. So far, I like this. It's got a really good soundtrack. The thing I have to get used to is that he always walks a little bit in front of me, so if I want him to stop somewhere, I need to stop a little before the object, and then he stops. Wait, actually, it's over here. Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> Glad these are sturdy. <laughs> ah, I see. This is just... I bet this is... So that's... Okay, so from that plat... Yeah, okay, I see. I'm kind of... I actually don't know what... Uh, what height it is that I die if I fall. This is probably around that height. Okay. A little Titan. What a cute little thing. Yeah, I really like its utterances. Hola, muy... Wait, why is that rock chasing me? That rock was sneaking up on me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> yeah, welcome newcomers. Thanks for coming by. Well, you can go through, but I need to break this. There he is. I, I like the style too. The environments are really pretty, and I like how simple the characters are. Like, the actual characters are pretty simple in their art style, but it's like a good minimal style that I, I really appreciate, honestly. Let's see. Uh, L plus RT? Oh! If I hold... So if I hold RT, I can point to where I want him to go. Bamaki. Okay. And why to tell him to interact with things. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bouncy rope! Alright. It's a bungee rope. Oh, uh... Come, come on. It's very painterly. Yeah! Like in the mechanics with a little friend, too. Okay. 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 I can barely tell it's a ledge, but fair enough. That's a bit of a drop, but 
It's fine. Any further, and I think it. I think we'll break our legs. So quit showing off, monkeys. Monkeys are agile. It's also. I think it's a cat. Also, possibly a mix. <laughs> it also sounds like a Pikmin. So, I don't know what it makes it. It's a mutt for sure. Oh, <gasps> it is a. <laughs> It is a, a little uh, hermity crabby sort of thing, or I guess. So I was right. That that rock earlier was moving. Then, hmm, well, I can crouch. What's up here? Bug. It's definitely a bug. Hmm. Okay. Just noticing a lot of like. Oh, okay. So I can't go through here. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Wait, that's not friendly, is it? Or is it? Oh. Nope, that's not. Hey, that's mine. Give it back. Okay, that the big one's not a friend. The big one is mean. So what do we do about that? Oh, I know what I do about that. We lure it. Yeah. Can I tell it to like... Oh. Stop. Can I like... Let's see, what was the command for... It was like, there. Yeah, go over there where it can't get you. They're only a friend until they get big enough to eat you, and then they're not a friend anymore. Okay. Oh my god. You're so good at jumping. I thought you were going to use the rock creature. Also, have fun decoding this language. I kind of like it. Hmm. This is about. Oh, he can bite it. That's, that makes sense. Hola. So are you not a friend? I mean, I am. I'm a friend, I think. Uh, LNRT. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. So since, since we know our monkey cat... Pikmin thing can jump literally any height, pretty much. We don't have to worry about that so much. We have to worry about our own jumping abilities. Apparently, the monkey's thing name is Moy, but not worried on what it is exactly. If you find out, I'm curious. This 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 this, this alien world definitely has some charming aspects to it. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go there. It's a burrow. Okay, so he's over there, and that'll help. Honestly, these puzzles are pretty straightforward so far. I understand them. But I'm enjoying them. You know what I mean? <laughs> that. <laughs> I just I was curious. <laughs> Bad time. No, I did exactly what I meant to. <laughs> Listen, I need a moment of chaotic evil, okay? Log live the king! <laughs> Hola. Remember, I also called him to jump, so I told him jump, and then I removed the platform. It was a, it was a prank, bro. <laughs> Hmm. That's electrified. I don't think I want our friend biting that. Ah, it's a power line. Makes sense. Let's see what's going on up here, then. Seems to be a bit damaged. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> That's adorable. He went... No! No! He would like knocked it. What's this? 
Oh, maybe there are secrets to find. I wonder if I missed any. Finding Secret Shine 2 of 10. Damn. <laughs> there, it, was probably down a, it was probably down a drop I didn't check. Well, not getting all the secrets, I guess. Damn it, Gabe, I didn't know I was looking for things. Oh, well. Wait, what the hell? Ah, uh, depowers it, okay. Reset, nah, it's fine. It looks like it unlocks pieces of some sort of, like, tablet with, like, graphics on it. So, I'm gonna guess that's, like... Uh, kind of extra lore or something, probably. Yeah, Fox, we actually discussed that. Oh, I see. I need to... Okay. I need to get them up here. Can I approach this without dying? Okay, good. Wait, can I just... Oh, you're, you're fine, apparently. Okay. <laughs> he can't bite it, but he's fine. Alright. I like how you can tell him, hey, bite this electrical cable that's sparking. Alright, there we go. It's electric type, I guess so. It's okay, Fox. You're fine. Okay. I'm just testing the cat's durability. It's important. I, you know, listen. When you get a new model, you gotta make sure you know. You gotta make sure you understand what kind of maintenance it'll need. Do a test drive. Give it a trust drive. Oh, I like that tree. Oh, that's cool. It looks like a 3D object because of how it's been presented, but I can tell it's like a painterly 2D object. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. It looks 3D, but it's not. Blends nicely. What's it doing? What was that about? Hold on. It did some colors. Let's do it again. Let's see. It was like blue, yellow, red, purple. Something. Did anybody pay attention to that? It's not repeating. It's calling Amazon Prime. I knew he could fit through that. Bad internet, stream 1860p. I'm sorry to hear that, Nano. He plays a little Metroid too. Oh my. Well, okay, what happened here? I get. Oh, this is. This is what one of the drop pads looks like. I notice it has legs, though. I don't like that. Or at least. Maybe that's just landing gear? Man, quite the impact it made. Holy shit. So those are the drop pods that probably released all the robots. You know, since they're robots, though, doesn't that mean somebody have has, has 
Somebody non-robotic probably had to create them. And if so, then... Who? And why? Uh. Let's start by high mind that can make more of itself. But it had to originate from something, right? Robots generally can't just start like origin point by themselves, you know? <laughs> the organics could be dead, that's true. Ah, I see. I understand now. Okay, let's see here. No, 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 I said stop. <laughs> Not follow. Okay, there we go. Yeah, puzzle here is just I need to I need to get the box on this platform before I raise it. So what I'm feeling, by the way, about the gameplay is this is this is nice enough, I suppose. I noticed that uh, cinematic puzzle platformers never really have that complex of puzzles. In fact, yeah, I would even go to say a lot of uh, cinematic platformers, their puzzles are kind of just busy work, and they're not like this is an example of busy work right now because I did the puzzle a little wrong, but that's fine. Mind you. Like, it's not the end of the world if there's some busy work in a cinematic platformer, because I feel like the cinematic platformer is only partially about the puzzles. It's also just about kind of taking in the world, enjoying the plot, or, you know, just how the story is presenting itself. So I don't mind if puzzles are simple in a cinematic platformer, but if they are a little tedious, it can get a little greedy. Again, though, if, if it's going to be simple on the puzzles, then that means the story, the environment, the atmosphere needs to do a lot more heavy lifting. Right now, what I'm feeling about this game is I'm enjoying it, but I'm also feeling like the puzzles are kind of saving me right now. I kind of feel like we're just doing the same thing over and over again, which is not the end of the world. But it's, it's a little boring. I kind of hope it does something a little differently soon. Hopefully soon, soon, because we're kind of running low on the hour. Might give it a little extra time if it starts doing something more interesting, but... Yeah, this forest environment, I, I, it's probably here to, you know, help us tutorialize and stuff. But I feel pretty tutorialized. I feel like we can, uh, we can move on to new stuff, new concepts, probably. That was an interesting and ominous sound. All right. Not sure what it was to. Okay. Purple, red, yellow, purple, pinkish. I don't know what that color is actually. Chipta, that's it. Well, I just told you the combination of Fabe. Why is what is the purpose of that little? Oh, oh, I get it. I, are they gonna see me? They're probably gonna walk past me, probably. So I leave them there.
Not ideal. <laughs> I, I had trouble moving him. I notice I have trouble with commands where it's the same button for two commands, but it depends on whether you're tapping or holding. Sometimes I get over ambitious and I tap really fast. <laughs> Go ahead, screw it. I don't care. Oh, I do care. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> hmm, what am I supposed to. Oh, okay. There's a. Uh... Alright, alright, alright. I got it. I understand. Whoops. There's a range at which I can aim. Hold on. You can go ahead and do that. Alright, good. <laughs> Fuck you, robot. <laughs> Yay, robot murder. Turns out, the he heavily advanced technology is still defeated by a giant pile of lumber. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> Sometimes low tech is the way to go. <laughs> uh oh, oh, oh. Ah, is that, is that the uh, orb thing? No, that might be a different thing. What is that thing? Because I think the, the sphere we saw last time was walking on legs. That seems to be kind of floating. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, magenta, red, yellow. Or, I'm sorry, purple, red, yellow, purple, magenta. Yeah, same tone as before. It's probably... That's probably like the control sphere, and it's sending out the signal to the other things. Is what I would bet. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Chow, you're in our Ewok. Exactly. A kid and their cat, or an entire ar robot ar army of robots? Well, robots can't adapt, so... Well, at least not as well. They are given a command, they follow it, so... They're always very dupable, if you know what you're doing. Oh. Thanks to that light, I knew there was a ledge there. If you're wondering how I knew that ledge was there, I don't know, I just tapped buttons. <laughs> That's cool, actually, I like that. You know, I'm in a surprisingly chill mood right now. Because, like, normally if I, like, miss an objective, like, we missed a secret, normally that would, I start fretting about it. Hola. But I don't really care, actually. I'm just like, you know what, I don't really need it. It's fine. Tamaki. You know, you don't need the light. You can kind of assume there's something to jump towards. Of course, if there is a pit, I might die to it, but... Happy for the change in environment, though. Oh, I just realized our little friend, when we fell, he's like, all right, and he dropped down, too. That's nice of him. He followed us into an unnotable... No oh, what the fuck is that thing? Let's go say hi to it. Oh, no. Well, I don't like that swamp spider. Because it looks like a spider covered in swamp goo. Okay, what are we doing? Um, I noticed she, uh, our character gets a hushed tone Ow! when uh, when there's monsters around, when there's enemies around, and she's trying to communicate with our friend. Hushed tone, I notice. Aha! I thought so. 
You don't like that, do you? Okay. Ah, I see then. What I'm gonna guess I need to do then. Wait, no, actually I probably shouldn't have done it that quickly, but it's fine. It's not fine. Oh no! <laughs> the little friend mourns! I just realized that. He makes utterances when I die. Okay, just gotta keep him there for a minute. Oh, I could just free him on this side. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Did a hush out of the first cat of the robot, too. Neat. It takes some getting used to to aim. To have him do things. Oh. oh, why did that rope almost? Uh oh. All right. That rope almost uh, like casually escaped my grasp, but I almost fell right to the monster's grip. All right, that. Damn rope physics. All right, we'll play just a little bit more of this one. I want to see where this cave segment's going. Oh, there's like flakes here. Oh, what the hell is this? This looks like, well, fortified, whatever it is. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, so this is kind of technology too. But this isn't this isn't the robots. This isn't the evil robot technology cuz this is old. There's moss growing on it. And those robots just showed up. So whatever this technology is is not the same as the technology that's bad. Hmm. Ooh. Huh, it's like a Light or a holy figure? Ooh, stars and galaxies. Hey, Tricky. It's going pretty well. A fetus? A fetus amongst the galaxies. Listen to the music. They're singing. Hush singing. Okay, a little... There's a person. And an eye. Maybe that's representing the robots. It looks very technological. That looks like a Big Bang. That's how I would interpret that. Now knowing that there's galaxies in these graphics. Star Child. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe. Ooh, what's we got here? Oh, there's a lot to take in here. Okay, well, there seems to be people in spacesuits. Hold on, reactivate that. I want to look at it more. I have to run across it. Okay, there's people with spears. People that look like they have spacesuits on, people swimming, fishing, cattle, mountains, and at the top of it all, somebody with some sort of object. Hmm. And some sort of symbol that is very prominent in the middle. I think we got a prophecy here, guys. <laughs> Ooh. 
They were farming and giving the protos as a gift? Ooh, maybe you're right. It could seem like a chain, sort of. What's that do? Oh! Does that... Is that a hint? Let's see what these things do. Well, these things... Okay, these things here, I can move them. Okay, move them along the pipes. Okay. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Is that how they all need to be arranged? That's how at least one of them. There's dots. You see the dots on the pipes. There's a there's a pattern here. Let's see. Okay, first actual puzzle. Let's see what we got here. All I'm seeing is dot 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 dot, which I think they're all arranged as right now. So maybe some of them need to be arranged another way. Let's see. What other details can I see here? Hmm. Oh well, have a good sleep, Tricky. Hmm. Hold on. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I just noticed something. Let me guess. If I move this, will I get another pattern? I will. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on then. Hold on. I have two patterns now. How do I how do I interpret this? Are there th I I do I are there four patterns? Or maybe this bottom one needs to be Dot on both sides, dot on right. Okay, let's try this. That would be that arrangement. Oh, oh, I get it. Each le each pipe has a different shape. I just realized that. Okay, 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 okay. I get it now. That is representing the topmost one. I just realized, yeah, each each of these pipe handles have like a different shape. So that the one the cart, cart was blocking is this top one. So let's move that into that position. The one on the upper left that we've lit up, that is this one. So th these two are good now, the one above me and this one. Okay, I need more information. Let's go back. There must be. Oh, wait, 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 wait! I think I see another hint. Maybe. Or at the very least, I want to see what this does. Oh, okay. I ring that to open the door. But only once everything's in position to make the right noise. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. Maybe there's some more information around here if I look around. Let's see. Was there any patterns in the room where I left the cat thing? Uh, no. Okay, so I don't need that anymore. I have that figured out. The blue one. Oh yeah, cool. You, somebody else that knows about this game? I saw it on Lurkin. I was just like, this is really interesting. I'd like to check this out more. Okay, I don't... Hmm. Okay, so I've solved two of the pipes. There's got to be more information here in this environment that will tell me more... that will tell me something else. What, what can I see? Do you guys see any other visual clues? Hmm. I have a hunch.
Does nobody see anything else? Okay. I I was right. That was the solution. If you're wondering how I figured out the other two pipes, I I don't know. <laughs> I just put it to what I thought might... I noticed that the leftmost pipe had three dots, the, the next pipe over had four. So I placed the third pipe with five dots, and then the last one I just was like, shrug three. And that was apparently the solution. I didn't... I don't know how I solved that. <laughs> Move it on. I, I legitimately do not know where the secrets were for the others, so I just... I tried something and it worked, so... I'm surprised that I got that on my first try of just playing a hunch. That's impressive, actually. Hey there, Digi. Oh, what's this? How many other pipes across over? Maybe. I got this. Achievement unlocked a key from the past. Okay. That's probably important. Whoa. What? Oh, did our little friend gain a power from that? RT plus L. Uh, oh, I can pull this out now. Oh! Oh! Can I, like... I don't know what we did, but that was pretty good. Oh, God, that was close. <laughs> Alright, I think we'll switch games pretty soon. Let's just walk out of the cave first. Oh. Huh. I... Okay. Thought, thought that was going to be really dangerous, but alright. Maybe in a minute. Wait, hold on. This one, uh... This one has a light. What's that mean? Okay. This is like a weird cave slug? Okay, so the, if we see white lights on something, that means we can do this interaction, and then... By pulling out the gem, I basically kind of control where the cat goes, it seems. So it's kind of like a weird kind of mind control we can pull off? Interesting. Oh! We blocked the light! And like by blocking the light, the other one woke up. So I guess they, just, they don't want to... They, they want to close their eyes in the light. So they basically make it dark. Okay. So... Interesting. I thought this creature would be hostile, but... Seems to be kind of chill, actually. <coughs> oh, 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 okay. Yeah. I understand. I need its butt. There. It, mu it must be very long considering how it works. <laughs> All right, we had a transition, which means we have successfully left the cave as I was, as my goal was. So, let's just take a peek out, and I'll probably quit. Let's see here, what do we got? 
More forests. Anything cool gonna happen? I'll give the game one more cool factor moment if it wants to do that. <laughs> but it has like two minutes to do that. <laughs> cool factor or introspection, whatever. So we have a prophecy story. We have an ancient artifact and we have invading robots. It's a little bit, you know, it's not like the most original yeah, no! setup for a story, but this seems, this seems pretty cool. Back to the Ghibli Valley. <clears throat> Alright, and more puzzles. I'm gonna call it here. Shrines. Yes, only one of them. So we see the galaxy child in, in the uh, piece of... So we're basically just grabbing some ancient tablet, basically, pieces of it. Um, I wonder if this is one of those games that lets you return to old chapters so you can go find the items you missed. Yeah, shrines. What it's, so there's ten shrines, and I missed one, so we found the second one, and then we went over it. So this game is probably not super duper long, but it's like I, I may have gone through twenty percent of the game, or probably th around thirty percent now. Very neat, though. Um, I hope there's a chapter select if you beat it, so you can go back and look for the shrines you missed or something. But I don't know. But Planet of Lana, I to be critical, I do feel like the forest environment and it's, and the puzzles I've seen so far little bit overused. The puzzles style, it feels a little simple. I kind of, I do kind of wish the game would introduce more new things more quickly. But it, of course, could pick up the pace on that later. It probably will. Uh, so, I, like, I would say slightly slow start mechanically. But, overall, this is a really nice game. Uh, if you like, you know, Limbo, if you like little, the little nightmares or, or uh, Inside or... <laughs> <laughs> if you like uh, Odd World stuff, if you like cinematic or more, you know, uh, uh, what's the word for it? With the platformers where you're not really fighting things, you're trying to avoid things. I guess kind of a stealth platformer too, stealth puzzle platforming. But yeah, it's really nice. It definitely has a lovely art style. The soundtrack is wonderful. The big swell that occurred uh, after escaping from the village, the, the music to play during that very pretty, very very nice. So I I I'd say that while mechanically a bit simple and maybe a little bit, little bit using the same thing over and over again, this has everything else going for it really well. All the pre art, music, presentation, the characters are very cute. I like the voice acting as well. Like I mentioned, uh, it may not be like full English sentences or sentences or anything, but I still very much appreciate the voice work they did. They made it sound natural. They made it sound emotive. They made it sound just engaging. So, yeah, Planet of Lana, I recommend this game. Go check it out if you're interested in those other sort of games, and uh, I think you'll have a good time with this one. Maybe I'll come back to this. Perhaps I will play it, I, I do a casual playthrough of this. We'll see. But that was Planet of Lana. <laughs>